The following is a hoop ball presentation. Hello and welcome to the Hoop Ball DFS Today podcast. I am your host, Mike Patria. Riding solo for this nice little Monday card we have on our hands. Two games to talk about after a nice, uh, I'm not going to say nice, it was miserable for me. I had to watch my Mavericks get eliminated yesterday. So uh, there is that, there is that. But new day, new basketball. And for the Mavericks, we'll be waiting for the new season. But for DFS, we get to turn the page. We get to look forward to today. Slate that I'm pretty excited about. One that we're going to have to monitor some news, some injuries, a lot of that good stuff. But, of course... Before we jump into anything, let's give a quick shout out to our presenting sponsor, My Bookie. Guys, check out My Bookie. If you haven't been over there, you just have to head to mybookie.ag. And if you go there, you'll find the number one sports book out there, the only sports book that Hoopball and myself will give our stamp of approval for. They have everything from odds boost contests to a fully fledged casino platform where you can play all your table games, slot machines, you name it, they have it. Bet Live Sports. Bet parlays, you, you can do anything. And if you head over there and use that promo code HOOPBALL, they'll match up to 50% on up to a $1,000 deposit. So you put in 1000 bucks, guys, they give you $500 for free. F-R-E-E, free. And it doesn't need to be 1000 anything up to 1000 So you get free money, head over to mybookie.ag, use that promo code HOOPBALL. All right. We're going to dive into this. Should be a relatively short podcast. It always is when there's only uh, you know two games, like playoff slate, and you're riding solo. But don't let that think that the nuggets of information will not be in there. Because uh, I've been looking at this one. I've been looking at this one. But we'll start off. Milwaukee Bucks traveling to Brooklyn, taking on the Nets for the Nets. Spencer Dinwiddie, Jeff Green, and James Harden all ruled out. For the Bucks, Dante DiVincenzo and Jordan Nawara have been ruled out. This game, as of now... Things might change. Coming in at a 235.5 game total, Brooklyn being favored by 2.5 points despite having no James Harden. This is the one that we're going to want to target the most. I'm sure a lot of people will with just the difference of game total. It is almost a 16-point difference in game total between this game and the later game that starts at 10 p.m. But we'll start off with the away team. We'll start off with this Milwaukee Bucks team. And it's going to be pretty simple for me here. There's, you know, the top dogs are the options that we're going to want to target. Giannis, Middleton, Holiday, Lopez. Uh, those are the four guys that I have a ton of interest in. Uh, Giannis will probably be my favorite stud to pay, for, pay up on on the slate. And, it, you know, it comes to splitting hairs. A lot of people might immediately gravitate towards those Brooklyn guys with no James Harden. I wouldn't falter there. Uh, they all get increases in usage. In fact, uh, Kyrie Irving's looking at about a 31.5 usage rate with no James Harden on the floor. Kevin Durant's looking at 31.4. Kyrie averaging 1.4 DK points per minute. Well, Durant averages 1.5. Both these guys are excellent plays, but even when it comes down to the numbers with Harden off the floor, Giannis still has a higher usage, and Giannis still averages more DK points per minute than both those guys. It's a fantastic matchup for Giannis. They have no, they have no bigs that can protect the paint. Uh, it's been a field day for him anytime he's walked into Brooklyn. So I'm looking forward to targeting Giannis. The biggest thing that we... I guess we, we don't like when we play him. It's what Boot and Holders, Boot and Holders does with these minutes. It's uh, it's getting a little obnoxious. You know, there's no reason that Giannis should be playing 35 minutes in this game. He, if he can't play 40 in this playoff matchup, I, I mean, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, he needs to be on the floor as much as he possibly could. If you can't afford Giannis or if you don't want to spend up that way and you wanted to go more of the Jokic approach and then maybe pair it with one or two of these Brooklyn guys, wouldn't fault you there. I would still want some usage over here, though, whether it's Middleton, Holiday, or Lopez. I really like Lopez just simply centers... They destroy, they destroy the Nets against his former team. Uh, and it's a big mismatch. You know, we saw in the, in the first game of the series that Blake Griffin spent a lot of time at center. And Blake Griffin does not have the size or necessarily the, I don't know, the wherewithal to be chasing Lopez out in the line. So this is a matchup that they can really take advantage of. And if they're going to win this series, they're going to have to go to it a little bit more often than not. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to just continuing to pound Brook Lopez. They're going to pair him with some Giannis, get those two guys. If you wanted to look at some of these value pieces, like P.J. Tucker drew the start in that last one, played 28 minutes. Fully expect him to draw that start again. Uh, just temper your expectations with P.J. Tucker. If you've been playing DFS for a while, you know that like his upside is usually about 20 DK points. Uh, and the floor could be about like eight. But minutes equal money. And if there's, uh, there's not a lot of guys out there that we can feel too confident in, 
at that price tag getting that sort of workload. Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, and Thomas Hearns. Legends, whose four-way rivalry defined one of the greatest eras in boxing history. Relive their decade of dominance in a new Showtime sports documentary, The Kings, a four-part series now streaming on Showtime. Nobody builds 5G like Verizon builds 5G because we're the engineers who built the most reliable network in America. And the more you do with 5G, the more building it right matters. The more your network matters. The more Verizon engineers going the extra mile matters. It's us pushing us. It's Verizon versus Verizon. 5G built right from America's most reliable network. Most reliable based on rankings from Rootmetrics second half 2020 U.S. report of three mobile networks. Results may vary. Award is not an endorsement. All right. Slide over to the other side of the ball. Looking at this Nets team. No James Harden. I already touched on the usages with Kyrie and Kevin Durant. Both of these guys are excellent plays. Uh, KD averages about, you know, a tenth of a DK point more than Kyrie per minute. It's really splitting hairs. I, I prefer Kevin Durant. I just don't want to necessarily touch on that Kyrie Irving matchup with Drew Holiday chasing him around all over the place. But these guys are pretty much doing what the Bucks should be doing. Kyrie played 45 minutes in that first game. And he's going to keep continue to play. Uh, the good thing is he's cheaper than everybody else. He's 9,200 when we're looking at everybody else in that price range, 10-3 for Durant. You got, you know, Jokic and, uh, and Giannis touching almost 11K. He's a lot easier to afford. He makes it easy to get a Brooklyn piece if you didn't want to spend up on Durant and you wanted to spend up in some other spots. So uh, definitely very, very much like these two guys. But I'm going to be looking a little bit more ancillary. I, I want one of those two between Durant and Kyrie. But I also want some shares of Mike James and Blake Griffin, both these guys. Uh, overperformed, uh, I think everybody's expectations were in that game one. Now, I don't expect Blake Griffin to come out here and drop another 18 and 14. I'm not saying he's going to do that. Uh, but, you know, the minutes were there. He played 35 minutes. He is their best center option, it looks like, especially in this series. And at 4,100, it feels like this is a can't-miss value. Uh, and the same thing could be said for Mike James at 3,300. For everything I just said about P.J. Tucker, I'd much prefer to play Mike James. He played 30 minutes in that last one. Yes, Kyrie plays point guard. Don't get me wrong. But... If you've been watching these Nets games throughout the season, they have been trying to have Kyrie adjust to playing off ball more than on ball. And it looks like even with James Harden uh, getting out of the lineup, they're not going away from that. They're going to keep playing him a little bit off ball. Now that doesn't mean he's going to play off ball all 45 minutes. Uh, he probably play about you know 15 to 20 minutes of point guard, but that still allows James to get out there for a solid 20 to 30 minutes himself. So at 3,300, he's probably my favorite value play on the slate, and he'll probably be pretty chalky too. Don't, don't expect him to be... Uh, you know, some hidden gem or anything. It'd definitely be pretty chalky. All right. We'll move on to the next game. Denver Nuggets traveling to Phoenix, taking on the Suns in this one. For the Nuggets, Will Barton, P.J. Dozier, Jamal Murray all rolled out. And for the Suns, it is just Abdul Nader. He has been rolled out. 219 and a half game total. Phoenix favored by five and a half coming off that. Series win against the Lakers. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll start off with the Nuggets here, though. The away team, Jokic, coming in at 10-8. Touched on everybody's usage rates on the slate. Right now, Jokic is at 31.9, so it is right there in comparison with Giannis. A little less than Giannis, but still more than Durant and Kyrie. Averaging 1.63 DK points per minute. So Jokic has been cooking, and there's no matchup that could really contain him. I don't, I'm not going to say don't play Jokic. Uh, I just don't see him being the stud I spend up on. I just like these other guys in their spots a little bit more. But he's very, very much in play. Michael Porter Jr. coming in at 7,100. The dude's just been cooking all offseason, or I mean all postseason. And, you know, the shot, the shooting, the shot attempts, none of those are going away. This is a difficult matchup for him. Now, Phoenix has a lot of guys that could throw out a guy like Michael Porter Jr. Jay Crowder, Mikal Bridges, Cam Johnson. They have a few bodies that are all pretty solid defensively. They all have speed. They all have a little bit of length. And they could cause some nightmares. Um, does that mean they're going to shut Porter, J Porter Jr. down? No, I don't think that. At 7,100, I really like the price tag, but I just really don't like the matchup. So I don't know. I know this isn't the answer you're looking to hear. I don't know where I'm at with him right now. Uh, I love that price tag. And if I'm not playing Jokic, I still want to get some exposure to this game. And I want to get the guy that I think could be the go-to go, go -to and the number one scoring option on this team. And if I think, yeah, maybe maybe it's not Jokic tonight, it's probably going to be Porter Jr. The only other options uh, that you can even really look at on this team are going to be some of these ancillary guards. Or if you want to take a stab at a guy like Aaron Gordon, I think at 5,500, that's a very, very good price tag. 
And to be honest, I think a lot of these uh, a lot of these Nuggets guys are at good price tags, which makes them easy and I guess swallowable to play. Uh, it, it doesn't make it so it's uh, that that difficult to get them in your lineup. They're not going to be core fixtures of mine. They're going to be guys that just round things out. So Aaron Gordon, I uh, wouldn't mind taking a stab at a guy like Austin Rivers. I think we have better options, especially with Mike James uh, and Michael Porter Jr. would be my two top options between those two and probably cut it off there. If you wanted to take a stab at a guy like Monte Morris, sure, 5,400. I'll probably take a pass, though. He's been absolutely cooking. Uh, just kidding. It's not even going to get the court. I don't know what happened to him, man. Don't know what happened. Beat out Malik Beasley for a job a few years ago, then loses it. The injuries. The injuries. The injuries. That's why you see a lot of athletes. They try to power through. They try to power through an injury so they don't lose their job. On the other side of the ball. Devin Booker, 8500 Won't be paying that. It's a great price tag. Don't get me wrong. Booker coming off a 71-point game, DK point performance. I'm just not in the business of chasing performances after we just saw what their peak performance looked like. It's a game one. Got to imagine that Denver is going to have a lot of their defensive game plan focused around Devin Booker, knowing that Chris Paul is still dealing with a little bit of an injury himself. And there that is at 6500 If we hear that he's good to go before the game, if there's no sort of minutes restriction, if there's nothing that we need to worry about, he's playing. He's playing a full complement of minutes. He will not rest. Uh, then 6500 is probably the best price tag for any player on the slate. But we just don't know that. And we've seen him limited over the past few games. And I just don't see that going away just yet. So for all those reasons, I do not think I'll have any Chris Paul. But I will go to some of these ancillary pieces, some of these guys that we've talked about. And I mentioned one earlier, being Jay Crowder. A little bit more expensive in this series than he was in the last. He's now 5K. But uh, in that Lakers series, two out of the past three games, he's put up at least 36 DK points. This feels like one of those matchups where he's going to have to get a good amount of run, especially with Michael Porter Jr. So I expect him to be the guy that draws that defensive assignment for the most part. So 5K, I will have some shares of Jay Crowder. And then for any of these ancillary bench options, the only one that really kind of stands out to me and I still don't even feel that great about might be Cam Johnson at 3,400. He can get hot from deep. But again, we have some other options. We have some, I guess he's, he'd probably be like the tournament pivot. So for me on this team, it's going to be Jay Crowder. It's going to be a little bit, tiny bit of Cam Johnson. And I do like DeAndre Ayton. I didn't mention him. But DeAndre Ayton has played fairly well against this team uh, this season. In three games, he's averaging about 37 minutes and 43 DK points. So he'll easily be able to pay off that salary at 7,300 if things go the way that they have been in this series. And you got to imagine they, do not, they don't have a lot, of, uh, a lot of depth behind him defensively, especially. You know, they could sit there and throw out guys like Saric and, and Kaminsky and those types of guys. But... You don't want to throw those guys out in Jokic uh, for too long. He, they will, he will eat. He'll put you in a hole very quickly. So expect Aiton to play as many minutes as he can handle as long as he stays out of foul trouble. So at 7,300, he's probably, I would say, my favorite center play on the slate, uh, simply based upon guys that are only center eligible. You know, I still think I'd probably play guys like Blake Griffin over him. But at 7,300, he's probably my favorite center option on the slate. Wow. That might have been the fastest podcast I think we've ever done in the history of podcasts here. It's, uh, it's been about a solid 13 minutes. So apologize, guys. I hope this was long enough to get you through to your commute and get you some information just to get you started. That's what this show's for. We're an early look podcast. We get you going early in the day. That way, all the, all the skitty is sorted out for you. That way, when the, the news starts trickling through, we start seeing beat reporters and beat writers start to give us little tidbits here and there, how guys look in warm-ups, whatever's going on. We adjust. We adjust instead of just trying to construct an entire lineup 10 minutes before lock. That is not the recipe for success. You want to tinker. You want to mix and match. You want to try to find all the combinations until you land on the combination that you think is the winning combination. So let's get to that player tier section, though. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my own solo, but we'll do it. At the expensive player tier, we're going to go with my main man, Giannis. Highest guy priced on the slate, 11K, and for good reason. I expect 60-plus DK points out of this. Uh, and I actually wouldn't be surprised if he's closer to 70. Because uh, I expect Jokic, I expect Durant, and Giannis. I expect all three of these guys to be touching close to 60. And Giannis is the one guy I think will get me that 70 mark if I need it tonight. For the middle tier, mid-tier, we'll go with a guy that I mentioned, not too long ago. Blake Griffin. I don't even know if he's a vid here. I think he'd be more of a value play in this one. So, uh, you know what? We'll switch it up. We'll go with somebody who's a little bit more mid-tier. That's DeAndre Ayton at 73. 
And then for the value, we'll toss it up over there to Brooklyn. Uh, Blake Griffin, throwing some Mike James, a little bit of both these guys, I think are excellent value plays. Get some exposure into both of them. As long as James Harden and Jeff Green are rolled out, you should see consistent minutes for both of them. That is it. If you want, I'd appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter, at Mike Apatria, M-I-K-E-A-P-O-T-R-I-A. You can hit me up on there, ask me some questions, get at me anytime. I'll do my best getting back to them. As I mentioned, things have been wild and will continue to be wild over the next month as I am moving out of state into Texas. So if I don't see your question, I do apologize. We have a lot of guys over here on our DFS Today team. You can grab any one of them if I don't answer. Link us all in the same tweet. Get a little group think, uh, group think, group tank response, and we will all get back to you. But we will be back tomorrow. It'll be Santino. It'll be Will. They'll be back here crushing this thing for you guys. Probably keep it a little bit more entertaining than this quick-hitting 15-minute show I had, but... Nonetheless, let's go out there and let's crush some GPPs. This has been a Hoop Bowl presentation. Sugar Ray Leonard, Roberto Duran, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, and Thomas Hearns. Legends, whose four-way rivalry defined one of the greatest eras in boxing history. Relive their decade of dominance in a new Showtime sports documentary, The Kings, a four-part series now streaming on Showtime. Most people only see their doctor a few days each year. For all the other days, there's CVS Health Hub, where you can see a provider, fill a prescription, and grab the essentials you need in just one trip, even on evenings and weekends. For care between doctor visits, from earaches to help with diabetes or sleep apnea, visit your local CVS Health Hub today. That's healthier made easier. Services vary by location. See cvs.com slash health hub for details.